From Vin Diesel becoming just too lazy to take his acting career seriously, to Justin Lin quitting as a director because of the guy. Here's everything you need to know about why fans think Vin should have quit years ago. And you know what? They might have a point. After releasing the 10th film in the franchise, you'd think the lead actor is being showered with praise and applause, right? But things aren't exactly working out that way for Vin Diesel. Instead, he's being told that he should have quit years ago. The first film in the Fast and Furious series was a street racing B-movie and Mission Impossible combination that gave birth to an entire franchise with spectacular FX set pieces that ended up defying the rules of both physics and Earth. As the series goes on, the stunts and the missions just become more and more insane. There's basically no other word for it. While our guy Vin is the lead actor in these movies, he played Dominic Toretto from the franchise's debut installment back in 2001. But fans have started to say that the man's gotten lazy in all these years. I mean, Diesel has been a part of this industry since the 90s, and his acting career has included roles in more than 50 films. But viewers have noticed that the actor doesn't really feature in any projects that he's not producing. And that's just not a good look for an A-lister like him. Vin Diesel established his own production business, One Race Films. A firm that makes many of his personal projects, One Race Films capitalizes on Vin's current popularity and help in the actor's career. Now that we know that, here's a fun fact. The five Fast and Furious films, Bloodshot and Triple X, were all produced by Diesel's firm, and each one featured the guy as the star of the show. See, what the fans might be calling lazy? Yeah, they might have a point there. So when a Reddit user asked, what actor are you sick of seeing get roles? Many of them ended up mentioning Vin Diesel, and mentioning him just opened a whole new can of worms because the viewers believe that the guy is just overrated at this point, while others insisted that he's just bland and annoying. But one user commented that his production company makes all of his films, which begs the question if he just can't get parts on his own anymore. Because if you think about it, the man had some good times too. He was excellent in Saving Private Ryan, and that was almost 25 years ago. But it makes sense. The man's been working on the Fast and Furious franchise for a long time, and it's come to the point where you can't mention one without the other. I mean, you can't talk about Mission Impossible and not mention Tom Cruise, right? Vin created a name for himself with those films, but the plot centered on his kick-ass character is coming to an end. Before the release of Fast X, Diesel announced that the Fast and Furious series will come to an end after two more movies. When asked about the franchise's future during the promotions for F9, the man shared that every story deserves its own ending. So now I'm nervous about <laughs> saying it, but to be fair, every story deserves its ending. But he also made a pretty bold claim while talking about the conclusion. Apparently, when he told his daughter about the franchise's ending, she started crying. So he already knows that people may feel like it doesn't have to end, but in his opinion, all good things must come to an end and he thinks this series has earned it. But it looks like franchise has just gone downhill as it's gone forward. Diesel has starred as Dominic Toretto since the franchise's first film, The Fast and Furious, in 2001. Since then, the movies have become big earners at the domestic and international box office. And maybe, just maybe that's the reason they just don't want to wrap it up. Except recently, when Diesel claimed that although the series has come a long way, he can now see the finish line. He talked about how the underdog has now received the world's support, but there's just so much you can do with a character like that. There's no denying the fact that as the movies have gone on, fans have lost touch with what made the franchise so great in the first place. I mean, it was never about launching a car into space. But even then, they promised hit after hit with every launch. And in the midst of keeping up their promises, they lost their focus. Street racing served as the series' main theme while the films focused on strong family ties and fast cars for the thrill. The productions were over the top, but even then, you have to admit that the earlier films had a lot of heart rather than the cool factor. Maybe fans don't need the theatrics only to give the franchise the end it deserves. The fans need the soul of the movies to return. Because the films went from the underground racing world to revenge schemes, government operations, and cyber terrorism. Do we all really need to see that? But regardless, it's also not fair to put the entire blame of the franchise spiraling out of control on one man's shoulder. 
although he is the lead character. Does that mean the man has given up? Should he give up? I don't know about you guys, but his co-workers might just end up saying yes to that. Yep, yeah, it's not just about his acting anymore. Reportedly, Vin Diesel is getting exceedingly difficult to work with as well. We all know about his infamous feud with The Rock and how it led the central intelligence actor to cut ties with the entire franchise and never return. The two went through some major disagreements, with Johnson criticizing Vin Diesel's insistence on having total creative control over the films. The war between the two was very public as well, for instance, in a since-deleted Instagram post from Johnson, said that some male co-stars weren't conducting themselves as stand-up men and true professionals. That obviously wasn't going to sit well with Vin now, was it? But once things got bad, Johnson left the Fast and Furious franchise and refused to feature in F9, forcing his former co-star to double down and call out to The Rock to come back. But that too didn't end well for Diesel. Dwayne Johnson, who left the franchise in 2021, called Diesel's attempt to convince him to come back with a social media post as manipulative. He shared that he didn't appreciate that Vin brought up his kids in the post or Paul Walker's passing. Which yes, if you think about it, is manipulative. Now, I'm here to tell you that it wasn't a solo event. Because of his actions while filming Fast X, director Justin Lin decided to leave the project as well. Yep, one of the movie's producers reportedly said, I've never seen anything like it, because Lin isn't just walking away from a franchise that he's been with from the beginning, he's also foregoing 10 to 20 million dollars in his role as director. And it's all because of Vin Diesel. Apparently, the guy comes in late to the scene, also comes to set bent out of shape, and has absolutely no command over his lines. So by April 26th, Lin had had enough. He released a statement saying that with the support of Universal, he's made the difficult decision to step back as director of Fast X while staying on the project as a producer only. Now, that's just sad to come this far and then have one person ruin the last leg of the journey for you. And while Justin shared that as the son of Asian immigrants, he feels particularly proud to have contributed to creating the most diverse film franchise in history and will always be grateful to the incredible cast, crew, and studio for their help and for including him in the Fast family. But still, this is where he gave up the reins as director. Now Fast X, which is the first of a two-part Fast Saga finale, will be the last film in the franchise that was directed by Justin Lin. Even before these things came to light, when the film was still under production, Lin shared that there are practical problems that they're dealing with, which now makes me think he was pointing towards one particular actor, don't you? So from Justin Lin quitting as a director because of Vin being a difficult guy to work with, to Vin Diesel becoming just too lazy to take his acting career seriously, this was everything you needed to know about why fans think the man should have quit years ago.